<laughs> All right, we're advancing my wife's drift. What PG, is that? PG, keep it clean out there, son. Problem is, is after we shot around, I mean, hammer drilled it out, we gotta get all this muck out of here. So we're gonna muck this out. I wanna know if there's any nuggets down here on that false caliche bedrock. And then we'll try to advance it again. But I tell you what, it's humid down here. Yeah, I know. Stop your crying, Jeff, and get on with it. Yeah. So let me see if I can get my wife down here to help, you know, uh, for support. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, let's pull the apron back. Ah, oh, and there's the skip. Come on, sweetie pie, get in here. Here she comes, Miss America. Are you ready to muck? You yeah. got your mucking pants on? Yes. Because you're going to muck them right off. <laughs> what do you think, sweetie? Ton and a half? Wow. Are you ready to muck this out by yourself? Because uh, I think it's my lunch break, my union sanctioned break. <laughs> You want some nuggets? For yes. me? No, not for you. <laughs> wow. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Did you hear that? I bust my knee on one of these ties and she's back there laughing at me. <laughs> Does it hurt? Here's my mind car. You guys remember this guy. But he's hot. It's so hot. It's so hot, my body. Ooh. Hey, then later we can go in the sub, huh, sweetie? I know you wanna dig in that thing and get those worms. You know, I forgot to grease up my rails. Get it in there real. All right, let's get these rails greased. Every shift, you gotta grease your rails, especially on the curves. You don't want that minecart jumping a track, especially when it's full. Are you kidding me? Like butter, baby. Hurry, hurry, the supervisor's coming. Look busy. She's gonna work the mine car and the skip. Imagine that. Today's leg day, huh, sweetie? And then I'm gonna show you something really interesting about the geology down here. Something that I haven't seen before, but I've heard about it and read about it in these different types of sedimentary deposits. Oh, and then we'll work the sump. Huh, sweetie, you wanna work that sump? Huh? What? Battle those red worms. Yeah. Could you imagine doing this for eight, 10 hours a day like the old timers did down there in the Comstock load, 3,000 feet down, 120 to 130 degree temp? Whoo, man, those guys were tough as nails. Yeah, I know, I know, enough of the history lesson, Jeff. Get on to getting that gold. We want some gold, I want some gold too. How about we send my wife into the old workings, huh? I'm gonna send her back there. She's gonna explain what she's seeing and what we've been doing back there for the last seven years. Hopefully she doesn't see anything spooky or any any type of movement back there. Cause I tell you what, every time I get back there, it gives me a little chill. Oh no, it should be fine. Just watch out for spiders and scorpions and all that fun stuff. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't find something that's going to spook me. <laughs> okay. It's going to... Oh, I remember when we was put in. This was very hard. My husband was digging a lot. Okay. I remember this one. We have fun doing this one. <laughs> Sometimes we was crossing with this one. I love this one. Okay. Yay. okay. It's kind of fun <laughs> sitting in this. I'm not going to go that way. Oh, I still don't go. Hmm. I'm debating to go and show you guys that area, but it's kind of. Hmm. Hopefully, I cannot find any kind of 
Animals or something? Okay. Let's go over there. Oh. Hopefully I don't find something. It's not good. Okay. Last two long ago. The last time we went here working. So I'm not sure what we can find in here. Hopefully. Oops, my radio. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that is my husband's toilet. <laughs> Yuck. Anyways. I have to put my radio. Let's go over there. I wish I can explain everything and very good details about all this, but I think my husband is going to do better so he can explain you guys. Hopefully it's nothing. Okay. This is the other little caves. Beautiful is here. I'm so proud of my husband. He did very well. He's amazing. Okay, so now let's go to check and Jeff. Hi, sweetie. I almost got that mine car full, and when I do, I'm gonna have you run up, work the skip, and then we can get this out of here, and then I might run you down in the sump, see what's down there. Sounds fun, huh? Yes. No? Oh, okay. All right, sweetie, run on up the man way, or in this, in this example, it's a woman way. Run up the woman way. And I'll ring the bell. Are you singing? You can ring my bell, baby. <laughs> you can ring my bell anytime. Get the apron up out of the way. That looks pretty full. About 350 pounds. Look at this. This is a band of sandstone and it actually hasn't lithified yet. You see that? So it's still sand. Look at that. See that? Isn't that cool? All that is just sand. And this is why you can't blast that. Because when you drill the hole, and charge it and detonate it, all the energy is gonna go right in this little seam of sand and it's not gonna move this guy at all. So that's why it's pointless to try to blast caliche. These 
are made by our boring machine. We have a, a little auger that we've modified and what it does is it bores into this clay seam and we do seven or eight of them. You can see one here and one here and there was a couple more here. And what this does is it creates a relief cut so that we can start hammer drilling down and then it's a lot easier because there's a space or a void for this material to fall into. And these are about, when we're done drilling, about three feet deep. The way that we drill that is with an auger, but we had to modify it because it was having a hard time cutting through these seams of clay because there's nodules of hard caliche that are embedded inside of it. So what we did is we welded a whole bunch of teeth on the end of the auger, you see that? And that way it has an easier time cutting through all that clay. Enough jaw jacking, huh? I know you're saying, Jeff, I wanna get down in that sump. I wanna get in that sump too, but I don't think my wife wants to get in that sump. Phew. It stinks down here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Aye, you're a wee bitty bug. Come back here, come back here. Oh, spiders. Oh yeah, there's spiders down there right there. I bet you change your mind on wanting to be a gold miner now, huh? You imagine the old timers doing this 10 hours, 12 hours a day? So we're gonna go ahead and finish mucking the rest of this out, and then we're gonna medley tech for gold nuggets. Now, last week when we were down here, my wife pulled out this beautiful looking nugget right here. Now I'll put a snapshot of that up so you can get a better look at it because GoPros suck at getting close-ups. All these nuggets we're finding, we're giving away to our premium patrons. And not only that, we give them bags and bags of pay dirt from the first six inches that's sitting on top of these cemented caliche beds. And we give away a gold monster metal detector every month. So if you want to get involved with that, all you got to do is look for what? So we need a little icon at the end of the video that looks like what? It looks like that. Smash it, smash it hard. Make a $10 pledge and you're in like Flynn. And we'll see you on the next video. Mwah.